Hi, everybody. Hey. Dennis just wished he wasn't any taller than he was. And I told him Fuck that was you. a story my fucking life. <laughs> That's what I told him. Yes, because, you know, people who are six foot five have a lot to worry about. Yeah. This is about to get so edgy real fast. Look at this room. Just a room with no windows. Creepy, as usual, right? Oh, there's a window right there, actually. Never mind. And then we're just gonna peek on through the little... Microscope in the you see, space. You see the stars like lining up to yeah. give him a finger. <laughs> totally not like there was a thunderstorm outside. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile in space, <laughs> yeah, there's the moon, and uh, there's not a wall anymore. Uh, welcome to outer space. Oh, okay. All right then. All right, this we gotta like. I gotta like. If I make this shot, I'm gonna get accepted in the phase clan. So you ready for this? And uh, this is like my. This is like. This is like, uh, um, Kobe Bryant. This is like, no, this is like my audition. This is like my audition to get into FaZe Clan and be an MLG gamer. I make this shot, so BOOM! Oh! Oh! Wow. oh. Ah! <laughs> you just blew up the moon. You're an asshole. Uh, we're sa- I mean, we're safe in outer space, but now the oceans are getting awful. <laughs> now the oceans are getting all messed up. And there's Mario ocean, Star. I have no clue how man. it got there. Take me by the hand. Ocean man. <laughs> Take me by the hand. Lead me to the land. Do uh, you understand? <laughs> Ocean man. Go to feel the fucking on my fucking penis. Do <laughs> you understand? <laughs> I don't know the lyrics, alright? Yeah, right, me neither. I'm like... I've always heard that song, like, through movies and, like, off yeah, and on. Yeah, the Spongebob like, movie, yeah. yeah. My friend Bandy Pad loves that song. It means a lot to him. He loves that song. Alright, and it? now we have all of- we finally have all of Mario's stuff. We can go get Madame Clairvoyant now. Uh, oh, the best yeah. part is that she actually, like, willingly goes into the painting. Like, she doesn't fight Luigi at all. Like, she wants to go back to her painting. You, you'll see, we're about to- it's gonna be- it's the ultimate dramatic scene of Luigi's Mansion. Yes. The real, the real Academy Award winner for Luigi in his, <laughs> uh... The real Academy Award winner, huh? Yes. Yeah. Best character goes to Luigi. <laughs> Has Mario won any awards? Yeah, yeah. Like best character, like that kind of. It's shit? had to. He's had to, man. I. He, there's no way he hasn't. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's broke. Games are broken records. Oh shit. She has a cutscene for every one of his items. Ah! Uh, uh, I forgot about this. Kill me. It's like no one is gonna bring them to her one at a time. Who's like shaking the building? She, I, she is, I think. Oh. Actually, I think it's supposed to be Bowser. Because like she like, she's like when you get one of her items, she sees like further into the future. Uh -huh. And so she keeps telling more Luigi more and more stuff about like where Mario is in the mansion, yeah, yeah. who took him to the mansion. She eventually reveals that it's King Boo and that he's being, uh, that he's being trapped in a painting and all that stuff. And then she reveals that Bowser has something to do with it, and all that stuff. But didn't... wasn't this Bowser here, like, supposed to be, like, just, like, a puppet? Yes. Because, like, King Boo literally could just, like, pop open his head and, like, go back into his body and then slap it back on. And be yeah, like, the way the lore is for this is that, like, this takes place after Mario defeated Bowser again. And, uh, King Boo is literally controlling his body, somehow. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's kind of disturbing, right? Oh, wow. Controlling him to the point where, like, he could literally pop open his head. Yeah, like, like, the light of the spirits come, show us what we seek. Like, see what she talks about here? Your, Your brother, brother Mario, Mar he cries out for you. What? The power of the blues. You wish to tell us something of their mysterious powers? Harum. I mean, the power of strength, but they do fear your mighty Poltergust 3000. Yes, they fear your vacuum cleaner. Oh, I know, right here. This is the one where she talks about Bowser. <laughs> it's like someone just watched it. I like to add a little drama, you know? <laughs> oh, now they come. SOMEONE WASHED IT! <laughs> Cause it was in the washing machine yeah, when you I found know, it? Yeah, Somebody did wash it. Maybe one of the toads? Yeah, probably. I see, I see, I see you, dear Mario. The scene appears to be- What? What Bowser? is this? Bowser? How can this be? I see the hideous form of Bowser. I cannot believe it! That scares the crap out of you as a kid. It's like, what? <laughs> Bowser's here? I don't want to find him. His size differed throughout some of the series, right? Mm hmm He was, like, huge in one, pretty tiny, like, in in some others. Yeah. 
But I think this is set, like, after Mario beat Bowser and actually killed him. Oh. I think, or something. And, like, uh, King Boo revived him somehow or something along the lines of that. What the fuck? <laughs> Weird. I mean, Bowser's died and been brought back to life, like, in other times throughout the series. Like, New Super Mario Brothers, you fight, like, a skeleton version of him after he gets launched into the lava, and then Bowser Jr. revives him again. I mean, Bowser's been dropped into lava... How just times, just yeah. about every single fucking time he fights Mario, True. which is like every day of his life. So I think Bowser's built up a tolerance to it yeah, at this right. point. It's like, yeah, I died. Who cares? <laughs> I, I died. Like, whatever. No big deal. Someone's just gonna Dragon Ball me back anyways. Who gives a shit? Like, <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Like, he, he literally gets Dragon Ball back like every time. So does Mario. You sucked in the fucking poison mushroom. Again. Like, like so does Mario. No, I didn't. I didn't suck up the poison mushroom. I'm fine. Did you not? No. How scrubby do you think I am at this game? I fucked up the glitch a couple episodes ago, alright. Ten out of- Nine out of ten times, like, you literally sucked in that mushroom. Dennis, nine out of times, you sucked a dick, alright? So fuck you. Alright, well, yeah, way to judge me for what I like to do for a living, okay? <laughs> Fucking asshole. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, <clears throat> so judgy. Maybe this is the reason why I left you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, the fortune teller's room. What, where did this key go? Up to- oh, it's all the way up to the third floor. Oh, we're probably gonna be fighting the losses soon. It's like one of my favorite bosses in the entire game. Did, didn't you say that was the one that was like 15 boos? Yes. Oh, God. That is, that is the one I said that was 15 boos. I'm on fire! Yeah, you know, just fucking... <laughs> it would love it if, like, you could actually set the house on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Just like, you know... Fuck this shit! Like, think about it in Luigi's case. Like, this house is fucking haunted. It's got actual ghosts. Like, like there are I, fucking ghosts creeping on me and junk all the time. I'm scared yeah, shitless. Exactly. This house is made of wood anyways. It's yeah. gonna go up like a tinderbox, like, within like five seconds. Yeah, like, just fucking... <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm destroying a meth lab in GTA. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let's, let's... Get, get rid of the evidence. <laughs> well then. <laughs> okay. They didn't need to live. <laughs> What's living? Yeah, what is Oh, that's boarded up. <laughs> you mean like getting a seizure right there? Yeah. Oh, wait, what the hell? The golden mouse! Golden mouse! No! No! He's gone. You get the golden mouse, you get like a crap ton of money as well. Fuck. Yeah, it's no big deal. I don't need it. Do you. Do they come back out again? Nah, I don't think so. In the same spot. Oh god damn it! Oh wow, those doors are so yeah. uh, Super Mario sixty four esque. Yeah, and this is the safari room. I need ice. God damn it! Is this where the hunter was? This is where to the hunter was supposed to be. Yes. Was there and any I concept? think they replaced the boss with Bulosis, I believe. Was there any concept art for him? I, you know, I don't think so. Aww. We we could look it up. Oh, never mind. Golden Mouse appears again. I was Give me wrong. your money. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Get that money. I don't know if you guys, you guys didn't see, I don't know if, I don't think you guys hear that, but me and Dennis just bumped it. David has some really big knuckles, too. <laughs> yeah, I, I got big hands. I'm a big, I'm a big person. I yes. apologize. I'm very lean, very tall. You need to get on your fucking side of the mic. I am on my side. No, you're not. Yeah, you are, actually. I'm sorry. All right, so there's some ice right here, so that's all good. No, it's just this annoying because I have to walk all the way back. There are very few places where there are ice in this game. I'm pretty sure it's just here and the fridge, and that's it. Like, in the entire- in the entire game. Note to self, David's an asshole. Why am I- what the f what?! So you were like, oh, you're not on your side of the fuck on the mic! And then you were like, oh, never mind, you are. Do you want the people to hear you? No. Okay. Fuck the people. <laughs> See, Pokemon Go takes you to weird places. Right now we're in the attic of some fucking house. And look, he's still playing it. He's still got it in his hands. <laughs> He's still playing Pokemon Go. I know people are loving the game right now. I honestly... I got bored of it, I'm sorry. I didn't play it. I really don't care for it. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's only for like people who are like really hardcore like fans of, of the Pokemon. franchise. Yeah. Honestly, it's not the case though. Like People who are playing Pokemon who have never played it before just because they're getting in on the craze. And they're getting in on the craze because it's a mobile app. No, but the ones I mean, like, they can get it on their phone, you know? Well, like, the difference is, is, like, the ones who really are into it are the ones that are gonna be playing it even, like, further down the line. Yeah. Road. Like, for me, like, I'm just like... Yeah, it's great and all, but, like... It's not, like, the fact that, like, oh, I don't like to go outside. It's literally just that, like... I... 
it, it got boring. It just got boring to me. You know? It's just yeah. like one of those fads that like die out like after like a good month or two and then you just don't care about it anymore. Yeah. Like, it's how fads are. It's how it's always been. Eh, I don't think it's a fad for other people, but I understand for you. Like for me, I was honestly never even really into Pokemon to mm -hmm. begin with. It yeah. was just... I was just never into it. I played Red a little bit. That was pretty much it. I didn't really get too far in it. I got kind of bored. I yeah. caught a Pikachu. And I think a Pidgey. I don't know. And I think a Pidgey. I might be wrong about oh, the Pidgey. Uh, it's over there. It's yeah, over it's there, yeah. Are they all in, like, preset locations? No, oh, no. They could be anywhere. They could oh, be okay. They could be in any uh, furniture is where they hide. Oh, yeah. oh is that with, like, every uh, new uh, with every new game, too? Like yeah, I think they're randomly, uh, I think they're randomly spawned. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Little boo peep. You dumb motherfucker. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going, little bitch? Mm -hmm. oh, we, uh, we know where you're going, little fuck. Alright, whatever you do, do not go to the left. Thank you. Ooh, thank God. If you went to the left, I would not have found him. <laughs> I would not have found him again. Like, that would have been it. Where are you going, bitch? Alright. <laughs> we are gonna end the episode on that note. Boo, I just caught another one of you. I'm about to kill several of your brothers. <laughs> <laughs> you're I'm about watch... to just go in. You're gonna watch them all die, boo. And you're gonna like it. <laughs> Alright, peace out, guys. Stay tuned next time. We're gonna fight Bulosis. Adieu. Yeah, be careful. Be careful, Luigi. Be careful when you turn the video off. Just just be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Don't want to get electrocuted. No. That's bad. You, you, you don't want that to happen. You don't want that to happen again, Timmy. Idiot.